Hello everybody, welcome back to Back Out of the Case, this is Sky Flight 44, aka Sect 44. And today I'm going to be playing Pokemon Diamond Challenge Run. This is going to be my third attempt, and well... <laughs> I hope this attempt goes better than the last two. Hopefully. Let's just let's think about it this way. The first attempt was very, very shaky. However, on that attempt, I actually, you know, I, I did manage to get to Heart Home City. Um, the last attempt was a great attempt, but I lost to the gym leader. <laughs> the second gym leader. Granted, I could have it wasn't something I could have predicted. There was a possibility of me training all my Pokemon up to 16. That was that was definitely a possibility. However, I doubt that Lantern would have given a shit. That's just why a freaking Lantern? <laughs> all my Pokemon can't really do anything to it. And the one Pokemon I did have that could actually stand up to it, couldn't do shit! Its one attack was relatively ineffective. So let's just start over. Again, I randomized everything. Again. <laughs> and the start is randomized. I can't wait to find out what's gonna happen there. No info needed. This is like the third time I'm doing this within like the uh, last actual few weeks. Last two weeks, anyway. And I really was, I was really looking forward to last actual, um, last actual game. Yes, I'm still a boy. Ah, uh, this gets tedious. Fuck, damn. Do I actually... I, I... I lucked out the, uh, first time when I fought, uh, Buizel. I mean, not Buizel, uh, Floatzel, I believe. That was far easier. Granted... The only Pokemon I actually lost the first time was that stupid, you know, well, not stupid, but it was my uh, Charmeleon. Uh, let's just call you Matt, like I generally always do. But, god damn it. Because I had Leaf. Leaf was a trooper. Leaf was wonderful. If I didn't lose Leaf 2.0, I probably would have been able to beat that Lantern. Just because it wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have had Mega Drain by that point, and just everything would have gone by better. But here's the thing. That's generally what happens to me when I... That's what burned me the first- that's what destroyed my entire first, uh, run of this. Just, you know, giving up- giving to, in to chance. Giving in to temptation of catching another Pokemon. Giving in to panic as well. That wasn't what killed me in the second run, but that was what actually, uh, you know, made Leave 2.0 go away. And I would have had, I would have had a Pokemon that could use Cut. I just wish I could actually get a freaking uh, Roselli instead of a full the uh, Budu. Oh well. I wonder what this is going to be like again. Uh, we're. I just wonder what the actual. Uh, I just wonder what the actual uh, starters are going to be. 
just because, well, I did do random Pokemon that have two actual uh, evolutions after it. Well, she has a shitload of Pokemon like that. I mean, that that crap can actually be something like a Weedle, a freaking Wormful, or um, anything like that. Though I don't think that, at least I hope, it doesn't actually go and use, you know, actual baby Pokemon. And that, uh, just in the randomization, I hope there's no chance to get a baby Pokemon, because that would, that would definitely suck. Especially if you get yourself a uh, Tyrogue. Not so much anymore, you know, Tackle and all, but, you know, Tackle actually being a pretty decent move. But, um, yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, they're trying to find a red Gyarados. And I find a shiny... I found a shiny, uh... Wismer over here in the last run. I hope I find another shiny Pokemon. That would be great. But... Yeah. <laughs> oh, that last one. That last freaking one. Like the third time I've seen this, this, in the last couple of actual, uh, you know, last two weeks. Yes, go away. Don't need you. Hopefully, my luck's better this time. I'm, I'm still using the same actual, uh, I'm still using the same actual. Uh, settings. The one that is kind of screwing with me is for the Pokemon I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of the same Pokemon, actually. Uh, and all these ones, so... Chimchar. Oh, great, there's a Chimchar here. Torchic. That's the same fucking Pokemon! Squirtle! Holy shit, they're all starter Pokemon! Well, I'm going with Squirtle. But, I, I've been using uh, random Pokemon of similar strength for um, just the world. I might go and do global, uh, you know, one-to-one -one mapping. I might do that. But, oh well. We actually have a Squirtle this time. Uh, this is actually going to be quite fun if I actually have a Squirtle. Uh, having a water Pokemon just makes me feel, you know, good and safe, just because, well, rock Pokemon and ground Pokemon. I mean, I could, you know, having an actual grass type wouldn't be all that bad, especially since they tend to have moves that, you know, uh, steal health. But, um, all I know, if I keep on to little Shell Shock here, we're never going to lose against uh, Matt. No way in hell. No way in hell. Um, if there was any, if I really could get any Pokemon though, I probably would have wanted to. Well, any starter Pokemon, I probably would have wanted to get a uh, a Mudkip. Just because getting there, there are a lot of uh, different Pokemon I wouldn't mind getting. Uh, you know, Torchic wouldn't have been that bad. That would have been, you know, like. Uh, third or fourth choice. Just because, well, I prefer it to Chimchar. Trust me, I... The fire fighting type starters were pissing me off, especially by the, you know, the third one in a row. Um, the only one I, you know, I give a pass for that, it was, uh, Torchic. And which, when I originally, you know, found out that it was gonna be fire fighting, I was, you know, pleasantly surprised. And I was glad. And, you know, Blaziken is just overall super cool. But... Not... Not anything else. Uh, I, Infernape was never something I liked. And Embor is not something I like. To be honest, Tapig's probably my... The starter I hate the most. And part of it does have to do with the fact that, you know, it is using the same typing over and over and over. But... 
It's just... The fact that I heard they were trying to make them better, as well, just to, you know, outclass the uh, other ones, I'm not sure 6th generation completely fucked that over, uh, because uh, Blaziken got a Mega Evolution, and, well, they finally decided, screw the actual Fire Fighting, let's bring out a Fire Psychic. Which, actually, I may, have said that, I may or may not have said this, but the 6th generation was the first generation in which I actually picked a Pokémon other than Starter first. I actually picked, uh, I picked Fennekin instead of Froakie. Granted, my second playthrough, I went straight for the Froakie, but... Fennekin and its, you know, its evolutions were something I, you know, wanted. Okay, seriously? This is actually... Uh, this is pretty interesting. This is like the third time in a row I've seen Cherubi in this one area. And again, it has to do with the entire... I'm just picking random. And I'm not using... Random with similar strength. Instead of going and using, uh, what was it called? Instead of going and using, you know, like, global one-to-one -one mapping on the settings. Which that makes it so that, you know, you're gonna find every single Pokémon. I also, once again, shuffle- not shuffle, but randomize the items, so... Are we gonna be getting good luck with the items? Like, you know, getting zap plates, magnets, flame plates, shit like that. Especially considering the fact that we actually had Pokémon that could use that sort of shit. Okay, come on, Don. This time I'm not going to forget to buy items here. That was... There's always something I do wrong. There's always something that I do wrong. Yeah, bye-bye, you little fucker. I'm still pissed about my first attempt. Though, I, now I have a boiling rage against Gardenia. I believe that's her name, or something like that. Although, at this point, I've... I'm going to completely, uh... Um... What's the word I'm looking for? I'm going to go and, you know, take back my statement about me not really caring too much for, um... The actual music in this game. Granted, before I didn't really actually pay attention to it all, but, uh, you know, being forced to listen to it, uh, quite a lot. I've grown, I've grown to love it, to be honest. I, this piece, uh, especially the Eterna, uh, city theme, that theme's probably my favorite so far out of all the ones I listened to. I still don't like the battle theme. I really haven't cared too much for the regular battle themes. Since at least the wild battle theme, since well, the uh, second generation, but then again, in that generation, those battle themes were amazing. But, um, yeah, the, though, the I, I remember the Pokemon Center theme being good in this one, but it's not gonna be as good as the one in the sixth generation. That one. I heavily, heavily enjoy it. I love that theme. Okay, can I leave now? Okay, you gonna let me go? Good. Oh, now you... Actually, no, you don't have a Chimchar. The little bastard has a Chimchar. You have a Torchic. I believe it was a fucking Chimchar when I randomized it! I can't believe all of them were starters! But then again, I randomized it! There could have been shit like Weedle! There could have been shit like, uh, you know, I could have got a Ralt, an Aeron! I could have gotten... Holy shit, I could have got a Rhyhorn! You know, I could have got shit like that! And you give me all starters, and two of them being the fire starters! Oh, shit. 
Which sounds like a fucking arsonist to begin with. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna need to go and heal up just yet. Though, the thing about it is, because I am using a Squirtle, I'm probably not going to be able to go and, um... I'm probably not going to be able to go and... What was it called? Damn it. Well, I'm probably not going to be able to take as many hits uh, early on just because I'm not going to have any kind of good move uh, to really dish out the damage with Squirtle. Spooky play. Okay, uh, that's weird. This is... I wasn't expecting to get another freaking plate over there. Oh shit. Stupid D-pad. Okay, almost... Actually, wait. Oh, uh, we are definitely at... Uh, good, we're still at level 6. For a second, I thought we were still at uh, level 5. Then I would have had to at least go and do one battle. What kind of Pokemon are we going to be catching first, though? I kind of... I don't want to get another Ekans. Getting an Ekans kind of sucked. Just because how many actual... Um, how old was it called? Uh, Getting an Ekans suck just because of how annoying the entire, uh, what was it called? It had rap, it had poison sting, trying to defeat an opponent was unbearable. If it wasn't for the fact that Smurgle was around here, and, uh, Lake Verity, I would have been in so much pain trying to go and level up with that. That was a big reason why I could actually use it. That was the only reason why I could actually use that Pokemon. And now that I think about it, I'm not going to be able to get an XP share early on like last time. That last run was perfect. That should have been my run. Uh, I would have loved it if... To be honest, if I get an XP share... And this one, even within the first, uh, three gyms, that would, that would still be awesome. Damn well made, uh, you know, training Pokemon and make sure that some Pokemon don't over-level, uh, you know, far easier. Okay. Now, Diglett. Oh shit, I would have loved to have had a Diglett. Diglett definitely would have been a fun little Pokemon to use. I might as well go for the experience, so Diglett has pretty much no way. It's very, very easy to defeat Diglett. And if I remember correctly, Diglett, at least in the, you know, around the uh, later uh, levels, like 17, 18, 19, even to 21, gives a lot of freaking experience. Oh yeah, 23 for a level 2? That's great. Exactly what I was hoping for. Though, Diglett would not be the best Axel Pokemon to use until it learned a ground-type move just because it has low-ass uh, health. Not all that great uh, defense, and while its attack's decent, um, it probably wouldn't be able to Early on, it wouldn't be able to do much for me. The only really, really good thing about it is its freaking uh, speed. Wait, you actually do have a Chimchar? I thought you should have had the Torchic. Oh well, you should have had the Torchic. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. This is a scripted battle. So, you're not going to have the Torchic until next battle. So what? You actually borrow this from Matt? 
that. Uh, I highly doubt he would do that. That bastard is ruthless. Yeah, so what's my Pokemon I'm gonna catch here? Yeah, yeah, giggle all you want. Okay, thank you. I already had one, but thank you for the extra five. Yeah, it's not gonna be fun with more. I'm gonna feel more safe with more. Far, far safer. Shinx. This is a male Shinx. Does it have rivalry or intimidate? At this point, I would love to have intimidate. It has rivalry! Do I go and actually try and get this Shinx? That's all I can think of. This Shinx is probably going... Because rivalry makes it so... Uh, it's going to have a, quite a lot of damage dealing on you know, my part. I might as well just go and get it. I'm going to be losing some health here, though. Well, good thing Shell Shock has great defense, because this would be unbearable. Okay, let's go and catch you, you little shinxy. Huh. What would I even call you? I mean, uh, generally I can think of decent names if I sit and think about it a little bit. But I'm just gonna have to call some of these Pokemon to get, you know, move on. Some uh, pretty, you know, cliched shit. I'm gonna call you... Sparks. No, I'm not trying to go for an actual, uh, you know, I wasn't trying to go for a reference to Spire or anything. Smurgle! Yes, thank you. I love you, game. We can actually find Smurgles here. Tail whoop this motherfucker and then just juice tackle the entire time. Smurgle no longer has the ability to do a damn thing. And the other thing about it is Smurgle is going to give me a shitload of experience. 49, I believe. 45 or 49. Or was it 39 for, uh... It's a lot for, you know, just level 3 anyway. And Smurgle is so easy to fuck over. Just because all you have to do is give it a uh, move, like, um... All you have to do is just give it a move. That can't help at all. Yeah, 45. And it goes down so easily. And Smurgles are in this area! I can't believe it! I don't even have to go to Lake Verity. Okay, uh, gonna be going out with Sparks. Then I'm going to switch out to, um, I'm gonna switch out to Shellshock. To be honest, we actually have a pretty decent starting party right here. Why not? Oh, God. Well, at least I'm going to be able to beat Why Not purely with Sparks. And it is male! Because it's male, rivalry is going to kick in, and we're just going to utterly devastate it with uh, our power potential. Rivalry is awesome, trust me. The only, the only sucky thing about rivalry is the fact that your attack does go down. Your attack and special attack, or is it just attack, does go down um, if you are facing a female Pokemon. Oh shit. It's not gonna do you, you've lost way too much health for that to actually be useful. But good th this, 
Good thing this isn't going to remind me of that one time I had to face a freaking Wobbuffet with a Kakuna. That was annoying. I mean, I... I didn't technically have to go and, you know, give that up, but... Would you literally sit through and what... The three Pokémon out in that double battle were my Kakuna, a Wobbuffet, and a C dot that could only use buy. Um, yeah, who's going to wait until one of them does struggle eventually? Because, because of Shadow Tag, though, I couldn't even go and I couldn't even throw out another Pokemon that could actually attack. And that stupid fuck of some floor that uh, Cheryl had didn't want to go and be a smart. You know, be smart and go after the, uh, Swinub. I mean, uh, not fucking Swinub. I'm only saying Swinub because I see the goddamn thing here. But, uh, that stupid C dot instead. And wanted to go right after that, uh, Wobbuffet, which was utterly ridiculously stupid. Okay, we do have Bubble. This will work wonders. Eh, I guess I could probably get, uh, you know, warm up to this music. It, it's not as good as all the other ones. But, uh, it, it doesn't suck at least. I'm actually going straight through these, uh, trainers, though. Don't want to use any potions yet. That's definitely one thing I don't want to have to do. Uh, Sparks, one, I want to get Sparks up to at least level 5. And then, you know, after Sparks gets up to level 5, it's going to learn Leer. Um, to be honest, this is very similar to my regular actual team in Pokemon Diamond at this point. Uh, Shinx it was one of the Pokemon I got originally when I uh, played Pokemon Diamond. And was basically, you know, you know, Shinx was my one of my favorites of the uh, generation. Especially uh, considering it was one, of, you know, one of the first Pokemon you could actually, you know, find and get that actually had the uh, entire gender differences. The uh, Shinx, uh, Luxio, and Luxray have a um, they have a bigger mane if they're male. It's not so noticeable when it's, you know, Luxio and, you know, Shinx, but uh, Luxray is definitely, um, it, it does really show it off. Yay! Now, Spox is going to be useful. Huh. I believe this guy's gonna have another three. I'm gonna have to use a potion here, though. I guess I'm gonna have to use a potion. On whom, though? Uh, uh, let's go with Shell Shock. Just because Shell Shock does have bubble, just in case. Okay, oh, you're level 4? Not even touching that shit. Like hell. I mean, Starly actually goes and gets a, uh, that tackle of it will actually do, like, what, freaking yeah, 75 power because of stab boost? Not fun. Magnetite? And it's a level 5. Okay, I don't really trust this. I don't know what... It probably has confusion, as it's, um, if I remember back, it probably does have confusion for it's, uh, one attack. Yeah, go and do meditate. Please, go and do meditate. Bide! Shit! Okay, we're gonna use tail whip. Go 
good thing I did use that potion. And now what we got two tail whips. Even if it does bite again, it's uh, not going to be able to. Uh, you know, two tackles are going to go straight through Metatite. That did kind of. For a second, that really did actually kind of scare me a little bit. Because bide. I, I've always thought to myself, Bide sucks. Bide really does suck. But going and doing these challenge runs, I found out that Bide isn't useful, but it's annoying when you're facing off against it. Actually, that was a lot of freaking experience. Shellshock's already level 8. Not to mention, was that level 6 Shinx? Yeah, that is level 6 Shinx. I was not expecting, you know, the uh, level... Oh, fuck me. Riolu... Riolu, really? I would have given up for a Riolu. I would have given up my Shinx for a Riolu. Energy powder. Um, isn't that one of those health items. Yeah, very bitter medicine. It takes away from the happiness. But, you know, it's pretty decent. Like hell I'm gonna let Smurgle actually go away. You are once again going to be my little playmate. I'm actually doing fairly well just thinking about it. Uh, just because you know, I, I have a level 8 Squirtle. I have, you know, I actually have a uh, level 6 Shinx. In which this might actually bring me up even higher. Or at least damn well close to getting up to level 7. Uh, I can, you know, catch another Pokemon. I haven't gone and used, uh, I haven't gone back home and used that uh, full heal. You can only use that once. And, you know, when the game does it for you, you know, forces you through that, that doesn't count. And, uh, just think of it this way. I've only used a single potion, in which I bought, you know, four, so... And I got an energy powder! So, I'm doing fairly well. This is actually a good run. This very well could actually be a better run than my, uh, you know, second attempt. Uh, let me just familiarize myself with uh, Shrink's defense. Yeah, that's what I thought. Your defense is shit. Well, special defense isn't all that bad. I can't wait until you learn Spark. I believe it was Bite at level 17, Spark at level... Uh, what was it called? You learn Spark at level 17. You evolve at level... Uh, yeah, level 15. Uh, I don't really want a Wingle. That is interesting, though. Wingle knows Water Gun. It can learn Supersonic. And it will also learn Wing Attack level 13, at least. That isn't something I want, though. I don't really want another Water Pokemon. Zigzagoon. Now, Zigzagoon evolves, I believe, like level 20, uh, 18 or 20. Um, headbutt really early on, which would be absolutely devastating. And I don't really want it. Actually, it also has a pickup, which, you know, picks up items. To be honest, if I find the Zigzagoon again, I'm not going to be all too sad. Okay, a Zigzagoon, level 6 too. Um, okay, I'm going to get off a tackle and then I'm going to go straight for Squirtle just because, ooh, critical hit, uh, just because, holy shit, yeah, especially with the tail whip, Zigzagoon probably could make mince me out of, uh, you know, sparks. 
Now, Bubble shouldn't take out Zigzag Zigzagoon. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, just because, you know... It is, it is a weak uh, attack. Okay, good. I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball now. I don't want to even chance it. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it actually does go and grab it. Okay, what do I actually call you? Hmm, this one's going to have to... have to think a bit. Uh, how... can I actually go and... put this in here? Scavenger. Yeah, I can! Cool! Granted, it doesn't really sound like a very good, fe you know, name for a female Pokemon. Um, seems a little bit too dirty and, you know, humiliating. But, oh well. But that's actually what it's going to be. Um, I'm not going to really have to do all that much grinding either. But, uh, Scavenger is actually going to be pretty good for uh, just grabbing up items. Actually, let's go and check anyway. Uh, you don't actually have any items. Gluttony, shit! Ah! I got the wrong Zigzagoon. Okay, and it has a useless ability as well. Now, use any of those freaking actual berries. Oh well. It does have tackle. It has great, you know, health for it. Well, not really. The speed's actually pretty good. But, uh... That attack power could have been better. It will learn Headbutt fairly early on as well. Okay, might as well just go and grab this experience. After that... Oh, shit! Uh, I have six... Pokemon Center usage is still left. Haven't used a Pokemon Center yet. Do you realize what I did wrong? And I hate using this freaking honor code. But because I left Jubilife before I bought any items, I can't buy any items. That, that sucks. Oh well. I'm going to save it here. And now, finally, I hope we're going to have a good actual time with this one. I believe that we actually do have a uh, Zigzagoon at level 6. That's going to be some easy actual, um, that's going to be some easy actual uh, grinding. Oh well, see ya everybody.